today we're looking at another simple source available in OBS, and that is the scene source. OBS now allows us to integrate multiple scenes into one. So say you want to show a preview of a scene while on a Be Right Back screen, for instance, you want to show one of your other scenes. Maybe it's just the game you want to show. So instead of recreating the entire source in the game, you can sort of mimic the scene appearing somewhere. So let's say I want to add my first scene, this scene here. I want to add it into this scene. So multiple, uh, so both of them are visible. So I'll add scene and I'll add an existing scene or create a new scene. So it will show me the scenes available apart from this scene itself. And I'll choose test, uh, actually I'll choose scene or press OK. And as you can see, it added it as an entire scene. And that's over there. But if I change anything here, so I'm going to move the text, I'm going to put it there. It moved, as you can see, because it's not part of this, because this in program is a duplicate of that scene. So anything I change in preview will actually change in the scene, but not when it's output. That's the beauty of the studio mode, if you set it up that way. And you can do anything you want. So say you have a little window here, you put your gameplay and not a camera there, just a game only. And you have your be right back screen and a game happening, or maybe you have a video uh, which is set up to show in full screen, but you want to show it also during another scene, you can have a smaller version of it crop down, just adding the scene itself instead of anything. And what we'll do is a little test here with something which has audio. So we'll leave the audio low, and this is, of course, test two. And in test two, what we're going to do is we're going to change this scene. We're going to delete it. So right click, remove, add. I'm going to add a scene. We're going to add test two. And it's not visible yet because nothing is playing. So test two is not visible. Let me swipe in. And as you can see, it became active. And also the source became active here and you can hear the music in the background and then we can resize as needed and as you can see we have a window from another scene which is this one playing in this one so we'll do that as you can see this is still running but it's running there as the entire scene and that was how to use the scene source in the next and final view of our visual sources we will have a look at the text source. Thank you for joining me for another tutorial. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any queries you may have in the comment section, and you may find me live on Twitch if you have anything to ask. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.